healing tool, Content Aware, and the Clone Stamp. So the Spot Healing Brush is just going to let you, as you can see in this picture, um, remove certain areas. And it's going to use pixels from that nearby area and try to replace them. So let's start with a little example here. So let's say you had a picture and it had a couple spots on the shirt and you wanted to get rid of it. It could also be a blemish on your face, maybe a tattoo, a scar you might want to remove. You can really do anything. The keyboard shortcut for the spot healing brush is J, but there are a bunch of tools that have that same keyboard shortcut. So make sure you choose the spot healing brush tool. The first thing you're probably going to notice is it's going to open up with a really small brush size. You can go up here and change the settings, the hardness. Um, you can change the size of the brush. I prefer to use the bracket keys. So let me turn those on for you real quick. Um, I prefer to use these left and right bracket keys to make it larger. Use the right bracket key, smaller, use the left bracket key. So I'm going to press my right bracket key to make it bigger. It seems to be a tad bigger than the area. Then you need to make sure that you've targeted that area. And then just click and drag if it's a long spot. If it's a small spot, just a single click. And you'll notice it's cleared up. You can always zoom in, control plus, plus, plus. Hold your space bar to move around just to see if you notice any other issues in the shirt. That is the spot healing brush. And we're now going to move on to our clone stamp. One of the things that the clone stamp can do, I'm going to hit control zero to go back to my full screen. And that'll just fill it 100%. But the clone stamp can do two different things. It can either remove an object. So you can go and pull pixels from around an object and replace that object with those pixels. Or you can pull the pixels of an object and duplicate that object. So you can clone it. You can see in these two examples. To clone some of these birds, I'm going to click on the layer with the birds. I'm going to go and get my clone stamp over here. And I need to adjust the size of it. So I'm going to press my bracket keys, right and left bracket keys. You can also go up here and adjust the size like this. And I'm going to increase the hardness because I don't want the birds to fade out like that. So the first thing I need to do is sample an area. Think of it like dipping your paintbrush in a color. So I'm going to go to this area, press Alt, and I'm going to sample that bird. Now, if I want to create a non-destructive edit, I'm going to now click on this blank layer that I placed above my picture. To do that, I press the plus sign, and I'm going to paint the bird on that layer. What that does is if later on I realize I hated that mistake, I can get rid of it. See how you can just see the bird it got painted on its own layer? So if it was just a mistake, it's gone now, and I didn't ruin my picture. That's a non-destructive edit. So I'm going to go back to my original layer. We will grab another bird. I'm going to press Alt, click to sample it. I'm going to go back to my empty layer and paint it someplace else. So now I've got two birds on that layer. Alternatively, you can remove birds. So you would press in a white area. You'd press Alt, sample that white area. I'm going to go back to my other layer, and I'm going to click to hide that bird. Now, my paintbrush didn't fully hide it, so you just need to make sure that you've checked the hardness of your brush and adjust your settings here so it's not fading out. I just clicked a few times to get it to fully fill that area. Next, we're going to learn about the Content Aware Fill, and what this can do is kind of replace a giant object. So as you can see here, there was a hot air balloon. We used the Content Aware Fill to get rid of it. So I'm going to hit Control-0, and that's just going to zoom us out to our full screen. And we're going to get a picture for us to sample. So I'm going to shut the eye on this group. Now let's start by trying to remove the picture of this man. So I'm going to target that layer. You can use any selection tools you want. You can use the marquee tool, the lasso tool, whatever you want to select this man. I just chose the marquee tool and 
When you do it, you do want to leave a, just a little bit of space around him, not too much. And then I'm going to go to, I could do generative fill on mine. Yours does not have this pop up yet. So we're going to go and do it the long way. Edit, fill. And then from here, you make sure that you choose content aware. And that was even a drop down option in my drop down. And then you'll notice it's trying to work on it and it fills it. You can do control D to make it stop dancing. At this point, if you noticed any problems, you can use your um, clone stamp or your spot healing tool that we just learned to kind of correct any of those issues. Let's try one more. This one, we're going to turn the eye on and we're going to get rid of the tent. So this time I'm going to use my lasso tool and just try to kind of go around the tent sort of close. I didn't go too close. And then we're going to do the same thing on this newer version. You could just click this button. We're going to hit edit. There's content aware fill right here. The long way is fill content aware. Hit OK. It's working on trying to fill it. And then hit control D to make it stop dancing. If it made a mistake, zoom in, control plus 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 to zoom in, space bar to move. Then you can take your clone stamp and your spot healing brush tool to kind of correct and fix some areas. And so I went a little bit too far outside of my picture and that's what happened here. But that is the content aware fill tool.